Alrighty then. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Matthew Baker of Beautiful New York Tours. A fellow tour guide who specializes in Art Deco architecture asked me to do a piece on his favorite residential building in New York City, the Majestic Apartments. And it's a, a great choice. Uh, it's nice and obscure, which is the way I like it. Uh, not that famous things are bad, but just it's always more fun to dig out those best kept secrets. And the Majestic is an easy building to overlook, partly because it's right across the street from the legendary Dakota, and of course it's right across the street from Central Park, and so most tours that pass by the Majestic are concentrating on those two sites. That proximity, of course, is also part of the appeal of the Majestic for the people who live there or seek to live there. This is a genuine luxury apartment building. The place is palatial. The people who live at the Majestic, well, they're having a much easier time in quarantine than you and I are. Now, the Majestic went up in the 1930s, right after the stock market crash, in the middle of the Great Depression, as a rental building. Today, it is a co-op apartment building. It's 30 floors, uh, well, I should say it's 30 stories, 29 of them are residential, and it's got over 200 apartment units. The most expensive one currently on the market is uh, going for $19.5 million. The least expensive one currently on the market is going for just under $3 million. Chump change. Now, this all balances out to a median average of $4,000 per square foot. What does a wealthy New Yorker get for this kind of money? First of all, the cantilevering of the floors uh, at the Majestic, a brand new innovative uh, structural uh, technology of the time, made it unnecessary for the building to have corner columns. So the brand new, at the time, brand new uh, accoutrement of wraparound corner windows was a major amenity for an apartment building with these kinds of views. Uh, you have great views of Central Park. You have great views of the city skyline. Uh, they have white glove service. They have, you know, hotel doormen and, you know, hall porters and elevator operators and a concierge. Uh, they have exercise rooms and children's playrooms. They have a roof deck. They have a solarium. And that is not counting the private balconies that certain apartments have at the Majestic. Uh, so if you can afford to live at the Majestic, you are doing very well. These are the things that visitors like us don't get to see, but that residents do. What we do get to see is the beautiful minimalist Art Deco architecture of the 1930s, which especially in the right type of sunlight can be absolutely dazzling. Uh, people who lived at the Majestic include the great Hollywood song and dance man Fred Astaire, uh, the comedian Milton Berle, uh, the feared gossip columnist Walter Winchell, and a rather large number of the most significant figures in the history of organized crime. Uh, mobsters like Lucky Luciano, Louis Lepke, uh, Meyer Lansky, and especially Frank Costello, who had an attempt made on his life in the lobby of the Majestic in 1957. No one knows for sure, but it is generally agreed upon uh, that the gunman was a young Vinnie the Chin Gigante, very much on his way up at the time. So if stories and sights like the Majestic are something you would like more of, once it is safe for us to travel about the streets of New York, please check me out at Beautiful New York Tours. You can search Beautiful New York Tours on Facebook or email me at baker.tours at yahoo.com. Again, that is baker.tours at yahoo. Thank you very much.